Well, we've just spent the night in Lethbridge where we were able to have dinner with our niece Rachel and her husband Nick. And now it's time, let's go to Banff. Although, remember, not before we stop at Bootsma Bakery for some donuts and spud nuts. Uh, we're going to have them for breakfast. And then we're going to go for a quick visit to a friend, university classmate of mine, Judy and her husband Pat, near Black, Alberta. We are Wade and Lorraine. And we are on the off-ramp. Just coming out of... Bootsma, a place that uh, was recommended by Rachel. Lots of open sky, lots of fields that have been combined. This is our trip in Alberta from Lethbridge and we're heading to Blackie and then to Banff. And uh, from, the win from the window, you can tell lots of bug, bug splatters as well in this area. So every gas fill means a window cleaning. This is pretty exciting for us. We haven't been to Banff together for quite a few years. I've been for a conference, but to be traveling and camping in Banff together has uh, Definitely is something we've been looking forward to. Yeah, I think it's been over 30 years since we've camped in Banff. Bit of an adventure getting from Blackie, Alberta through Calgary to this highway that leads us to Banff. We thought we were smarter than Google and... Uh, we weren't. We weren't and paid for it in time and frustration. But we got here eventually without any incident. Just ended up in lots of side roads and turning around. It's the way it is. Should have listened to Google, but here we are. We're finally here.
Hi there. Two, three, four. Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay, thanks. September. We got a ways to go. That was 203. We're seeing or noticing a lot of rental units. People rent campers of various things truck campers, vans, travel trailers. It's pretty cool. Hi, I'm Wade. And I'm Lorraine. And we are on the off ramp. And we have left Manitoba, and you can tell where we are. If you've been watching our channel, you'll know that we headed over to Banff. Wow, Magnus magnificent evening. Sun is just setting, and we're standing by the Hoodoo's area. Yeah, we're looking forward to spending a few days here and we're just capturing the beauty of creation in the mountains and the Rockies. And then we have a few hikes planned and a few visits planned. So. Our first hike together in many, many years. Over 30, probably. <laughs> Did we hike 30 years ago? <laughs> we walked leisurely. There we go. Well, we're walking leisurely now, too. We're on our way down to go see some hoodoos. This is what we look like now before our walk. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see what we look like later on. Well, it's nearing the end of a beautiful evening. The sun will set soon. So we thought we'd show you what we were looking at. I 
I guess we better make sure we get to our campsite before dark. Eh, we will. <laughs> The beauty of van camping is that you can unhook quickly and end up anywhere uh, and park it easily anywhere. So that's been a treat while being here at Banff. We had full hookup and we do not hook our black water unless we need it. And we have water and electrical hooked up and then when we want to leave we just unhook it and off we go. And so here we are being able to catch some beautiful scenery um, and get there in our van easily and enjoy the beautiful um, atmosphere of Banff, Canada. And of course, for my photographer husband, Wade, this makes him happy. Although today he would have preferred a brighter sky. We truly have been having a great time here in Banff. It's nice to be here in September, but beware the campgrounds are still quite full on the weekends. Over the next few days, uh, we plan on visiting Johnson Canyon Trails, Tujac Lake and Lake Minnewanka. Morant's Curve, it's a photographer thing, Castle Mountain, Moraine Lake and of course, the town site of Banff. Stay tuned for more videos over the next few weeks. We have felt freedom traveling in our Sprinter van RV. However, we know that things can change in a heartbeat. So until next time, hold, hold your, your plans, plans loosely. loosely.